Seriously, here's how to make a solar system in Blender. Delete the default cube and add in a UV sphere. Shade smooth and then shading workspace. Create a new material. Add in a noise texture and put a color ramp in front of it. Make those values a little bit tighter to make the black and white on the color ramp a little bit more apparent. Next, add in a mix RGB and then use the color ramp of the FAC of that mix RGB and plug the mix RGB into the base color. Now make the top color of that mix RGB a darker blue and make the bottom color somewhere like green or yellow or whatever your heart says. Copy the mix RGB and use the color ramp as a FAC again. This is going to be for the roughness, so change the saturation to zero on each color and make the top color a bit darker and make the bottom color a bit brighter. Plug the color into roughness and then be happy with the choices you made, unless you want to make a few adjustments. Copy the mix RGB one more time. This will be our bump map for the planet. Use the color ramp as the FAC one more time and then copy the noise texture. Turn the scale up to something completely random and turn the detail up and then plug the FAC into the bottom of the mix RGB and then turn the top to a complete black value. Under vector, add in a bump map. Plug the color into the height of the bump map and plug normal into normal. You can turn the strength down if it's looking a bit weird. Adjusting the color ramp will now adjust the land to water ratio of your planet. To go the extra mile, add in a layer weight node and then add in a mix RGB. Use the Fresnel of the layer weight as the FAC and then change the bottom color of that mix RGB to something like a dark blue or dark whatever color matching your planet. Adjust the actual layer weight to get the look you want. Color ramp may be needed to make the layer weight look a little bit nicer to you. Looking like a pretty good planet. You could crudely get a bunch of randomness to make your planets look different, but they just look completely fugly. So I recommend making the planets by hand by just making small modifications to each material of each planet. There, that looks a bit nicer. To truly solar your system, Use an emission shader, a well-used color ramp, and a noise texture. Go to Curve and add in a circle, and rename it to something like Ring, and add in as many rings as as many planets you have made. Unless you plan for more than one planet to be on the same ring, even though that's weird and would never work. I'm just kidding, I know nothing about space. To get the planet to cling onto the ring, go to Constraints, then add clamp. Under object, choose one of the rings and you see the planet will automatically connect to one of those rings. You can center its position so it's aligned along a certain axis. Make sure the main axis is changed to X. Repeat this process for any other planet. If you move this planet along the X axis, as you can see, it slides around the ring, but it doesn't go the full way because you need to check off cyclic. Cyclic, sorry. And once you do that for each planet, as you can see, they can freely go around the circles depending on how you change the x-axis. To actually get these bad boys moving, set a keyframe for the x-axis on the first frame, and then go to the last frame where your planet will finish rotating, and line it up to around where it started. And as you can see when you play the animation, it'll start going around the circle and end up in the same spot. Now if you right click the first keyframe and then select interpolation and change it to linear, it'll go around the circle at a constant rate. Did the same thing for this planet. First keyframe, no movement, and then on the final keyframe of the animation, line it up to around where it first started after a few rotations and then set the keyframe once again. Right click, interpolation, linear, and there you go, another moving planet. Looking pretty cool. Take the starry night sky, add in a Veroni texture, make sure it's smooth F1, add in a color ramp, make white black and black white, and slide that black value all the way up to the white, and then increase the scale on the Veroni texture, and boom, you've got some good looking stars. To go the extra mile, add in a mix RGB node using the color ramp as the fact. Next, add in a noise texture. Change the top color on the mix RGB as the same color as the empty void of space and plug in the color of the noise texture 
into the bottom, so the stars are now a little multicolored because that's more realistic. I call this masterpiece the Lazy Eevee Sun because I have no time to render in cycles or bake Eevee light. Now, as you can see, it's looking exactly like a solar system, totally 100% realistic. Now, of course, you can have as many planets as you want, and you can make all the planets with full creativity. As you see, they're looping, and looping, and looping, and looping. 